We're out in Fremont at our new installation today. Sharang is getting his panels, his Franklin battery, and his Enphase car charger all installed at the same time. Got Watts is doing the work for us, and we're gonna get some updates on how things are going so far. Some interesting stuff happening there, and uh, come with us and see what's going on. Right now we got the Franklin. What, what's this device called right here? This is the uh, the A gate, basically. Brian, yeah, okay. got Watts, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So the the, the A gate. It's basically the brains of the operation? Correct. It's basically your uh, transfer switch. Um, it controls everything and it reads everything. There's CTs built in um, that reads the incoming currents. Um, it tells you, you know, what you're consuming in the house. Um, it relays all that to the app and stuff. And then it'll control it based on what settings you, uh, you set up on the uh, commission. For example, the car was charging in the middle of the day mm -hmm. and there was a power outage. If we said, hey, I want to set my settings for three o'clock in the afternoon where I start producing less, I'm, I might want to say, turn off any devices that are high amperage, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a threshold you can set when commissioning the uh, system, basically. That so it's not gonna just drain your all your battery? Correct, and Correct. yeah. You know, there's gonna be an outage. Yeah. With the Franklin battery app, you can just say, hey, you know, I turn that air conditioner back on, I'm producing enough to keep the battery filled up right now because it's three or four o'clock in the afternoon, but later, not yeah. so much, right? Yeah. yeah. So anything else that you think is interesting that uh, about this technology in here that if you were going to say, I, you know, this is something different about Franklin compared to anybody else? Uh, just the big thing is the quality. You know, uh, we have a cover on the battery right now. Just the, just the fit and finish on them. Uh, from the other systems I've seen, you know, this one seems to have like the highest quality, you know. Yeah. Like an alternative to Tesla. Yeah, yeah, know, a little so. bit more 15 kilowatts instead of 13.6. Uh, yeah. All right, and this one, you were, you were saying that's how this one does the load shedding, but your uh, car charging outlet also has the load, load shedding Correct. capabilities. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but uh, it's a uh, bespoke from uh, Franklin. It actually runs through the uh, end phase. It's an end phase structure. And it has uh, Bluetooth and Wi Fi built in. Uh -huh. uh, basically, when you commission it, you can set times, you know, or like uh, it'll, it'll read the threshold, basically, um, what, what the home's doing and stuff. So, okay. and that's. So, to, to define load shedding from your perspective, like, can you give me the definition of what load shedding uh, it's, really it's is? Basically, it's just you know taking that big load and just taking it out for the time being until you're able to you know comp uh, handle it. Basically, yeah. Basically, it would, it would read the homes uh, uh, using like basically the current that it's using because um, because he has a limited service, you know he only has 100 amps to work with, and it'll read that basically. And so if he's using too much inside the house, uh, the car charger will basically turn itself.